Simple Speaking from Camping World 2020. And I have an unboxing to share with you. This one really is a box. I think it's funny when I'm, say I'm doing an unboxing and it's a bag. But um, I think most people understand what an unboxing is. It's where I'm just sharing the reveal of what I ordered with you so that you can see the quality. Wow, this one is really well wrapped in a plastic bag. And it's in a box, which is a little bit crumpled, but I don't worry about that because you know what? That's what the box is there for, is so that it can take the abuse and your diamond painting is perfectly fine. All right, let's see. Now, this is one, I hope I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna have to correct myself. I can't get it out. Um, this is a custom that I ordered. Now, I get all my customs from my friend Lu Fang in China. She's worked for a number of different companies, but um, I tell her what I want. She sends me a mock-up, and then oh, come on, and then I'll approve it, and she will send me an invoice, and I will have it in about two weeks. It's. It really works out well for me. Sorry, I put my leg back down. Now this one is a little crumpled, because like I said, the box took some abuse. But I will lay this out on my pile, my stash. There's all the drills, and here's the toolkit. And it will lay perfectly flat. So by the time I get go to use it, some people will see this and be like, oh no, it's all crumpled. No, you can, you can flatten these out. So don't cry. All right, this is interesting because it's got the paper on it, but it's all clear. Here is the thumbnail. And I, couldn't, I can't wait for this one. It's a picture of BB and Charlie. Let me put the whole picture up for you. Now, you see those paw prints on there? Those are BB's and Charlie's paw prints. So in the description, not only am I gonna put news information so you can contact her if you want to but i'm gonna put the ink pad that i used to get their footprints it's a special ink pad where you put the dog's paw down on it and the ink is protected it, the ink goes onto the paper but not onto their paws so um it, it's really great for uh, doing artwork like this. I will always have their paw, paw prints forevermore. And uh, some people use them to, to get tattoos. Get your actual dog's paw print tattooed on. I'm not a tattoo person. But I do know an, a tattoo artist and I sent him a So here's the toolkit. It's a white boat with a funnel, pink wax, some plastic bags, and two pens. One, these two pens, um, one, they both have a single placer on one end, and then the other one has a three placer, and then the, this one has a straightener. 
So that's a, that's a nice kit. You get a little extra on the tool side, which I really appreciate. Right, let me let me pull up the corners and make this lay flat or as flat as possible. Um, I did this design with my puppies. I call them my puppies. They're not puppies anymore, but they're small, so they're eternal puppies. And, uh, you know, I think there was like a little heart pattern in the background on this. It, she said even at this size, it didn't show up. So that was fine with me. I, I wanted it to be subtle. So if it's not there, that's that sure is subtle. <laughs> very, very careful because usually, and I did it this time, I will rip the paper. Always be careful that you don't pull this all the way off. Um, all right, let me, let me put this back down for now. I'll show you the whole design, even though I showed you the picture, but it comes out pretty good. I always go corner to corner to corner and make sure everything gets lifted up. That, that way it will really lay flat in my stash. This is where working on a small lap desk can be a little difficult. This is a 50 by 50 full drill square. I, I usually will go as high as a 40 by 40, but um, I needed the 50 by 50 to get all the detail in on my, my puppy dogs. Now, if you haven't seen my videos before, BB is a toy poodle, and Charlie is, we got him a couple of years ago. He's a little Yorkshire Terrier, and they, they are just the sweetest little companions. They're my babies. They stay home with me every day. Okay, here's the first side, if you can see it. It's got a picture of Bibi, and then it has her paw print with her name on. I love doing new layouts and things for diamond paintings. I, I like to mess with graphics and design nice customs. If you ever need any help, feel free to ask me. Here's Charlie. This is Charlie the Yorkie. Cute little picture of him and then his paw print with his name. So this was quite an event putting all this together. Um, I spent a day getting there paw prints and Charlie I must have done his 10 times and I kept getting really smudged over and over because he is does not cooperate at all um, and then when I got that done I thought okay now I gotta do BB's <sighs> BB one try and she was done she was perfect she's so helpful oh I love these colors look at that like turquoise blue in there um, has an, Lou's diamond paintings always come with a nice inventory sheet. Um, I will do the inventory off camera. I always do it off camera because it is just so long and tedious. And you don't watch this just to see me count bags. Um, and I will put a comment in the description whether all the drills are there or if I had to ask for some to be replaced. I really love these colors and uh, oh, they're all marked with the DMC number in this nice little packet. What did I say? 50 by 50 full drill round. 
nice tool kit. I have other videos on how to order a custom. And if you need any help, um, oh my gosh, I, I always say a perfect custom begins with a perfect picture. And I said that to somebody and the poor woman, I, I feel so bad. She took it the wrong way. Like I was saying the picture of her and her daughter was not perfect and she was so offended and then I just felt like such a jerk. I, I, I just say the wrong thing sometimes. I'm so sorry, that's not what I meant. I mean, a perfect custom starts with a technically perfect picture. You have to look at the background. You have to look at the shadows. Um, it's very hard, even in Photoshop, to make a picture better when it has dark shadows and busy backgrounds, you know. So find find a pretty background. Take a nice picture of your family. Um, make sure everybody's face is in the light. Um, but if, if you have one that you want and it's still not perfect, um, you can do a lot of things. You can... You can make a collage like I did. You can lighten, darken, sharpen. There's a lot you can do. So make sure your picture, and make sure your picture is for a diamond painting. Um, if you'll notice, the font I used on their names is very, very thick. A, a, a beautiful little wispy font isn't going to show up very well. You won't, you won't be able to read it. So, so here it is. I'm so happy about it. Love, love, love this, this diamond painting. Uh, it really needs some flattening out, though. So I'm going to put it on in the middle of my stash and let the weight get to it. Hey, you have a great day. Take care and happy diamond painting. Bye-bye.